Hun Jin-min is a very well-known household celebrity who received multiple honors during her career. Some of her famous works are Rooftop Prince, One Spring Night, and Miss Bag to name a few. Her image used to be known as a captivating beautiful actress. But in recent years, she has shown that she is capable of bringing another image to the characters she plays. Check out these 10 things you might not know about Hun Ji-min. She made the news before she debuted as an actress. Hun Ji-min was born on November 5, 1982, in Seoul, South Korea. Several celebrities appeared as interviewees on Korean national news long before their official debut. In 2003, Hun Ji-min was interviewed by KBS while she was participating in a coin-collecting event managed by the university she attended. Despite minimal makeup, she looks beautiful and youthful in the news. She studied social work courses and used to be an active volunteer during her college days. Even after she became a star, she continued to volunteer and became an honorary ambassador for a Korean group appointed by the UN. She played a younger version of an actress who is the same age as her. Hun Jin-min, who is now a household figure among television viewers, never dreamed to be an actress when she was younger. But she changed her mind after playing in the 2003 drama All In as a middle school student who is the younger version of Song Hye Kyo's character. Interestingly, she and Song Hye Kyo are the same age. How could two same aged actresses play the younger and the older version of the same character? She took home nine Best Actress awards for her role in Miss Bag. The actress starred in the low budget movie Miss Bag in 2018. It tells about a woman who became a convict while trying to protect herself. She meets a child that is forced out of society, similar to herself, and fights to protect the child from a cruel world. Hun Jin-min decided to star in the movie because when she read the script, it felt more like she was watching an abusive scene taking place in a horrible family somewhere, instead of feeling like a movie. For her outstanding performance in the movie, she won the Best Actress Award at the 4th London East Asia Film Festival, 38th Korean Korean Association of Film Critics Awards, 39th Blue Dragon Film Awards, 19th Women in Film Korea Festival, 5th Korean Film Producers Association Awards, 10th Kafra Film Awards, 25th Sign 21 Awards, and 19th Directors Cut Awards. She also won Best Actress at the 55th Beksong Arts Awards, which is considered the most prestigious award event in South Korea. She told JTBC's newsroom with a smile, I actually didn't know that there were so many awards shows, and I'm thankful I was able to receive them. She actually drank when acting drunk for films. Hun Ji-min once talked about her tolerance for alcohol, and she explained that she's not bad at drinking. In a press conference for the movie Miss Bag, the actress shared an interesting technique she used when filming for the movie. She said, I think the most natural way to act like a drunk person is to actually get drunk, so I drank before filming for this project. I can't do that when filming a drama because there's not a lot of time, but I actually drank when acting drunk for films. She was hit by a stunt car on the set of Wolf. She and her co-star Eric were injured when they were hit by a stunt car while shooting the MBC TV drama Wolf. The driver of the car, which was supposed to run toward Eric and Hun Ji-min and stop in front of them, presumably misunderstood the signals and ran at them at a speed of 40 km per hour without stopping. They were thrown up in the air before hitting the ground. Hun Ji-min suffered from relatively minor injuries, but Eric was hurt starting from his ankle to his spine. The accident caused the drama to be delayed repeatedly until the decision was finally made to discontinue it with only three episodes aired. She's not afraid to look ugly for a role. When she was on Familiar Wife, she heard a lot of people say, is it okay for you to appear that ugly? No matter what the medium, female characters always appear beautiful. Also when a character doesn't have the positive qualities of a traditional female character, the word ugliness is frequently used. But Hun Jin-min just wanted to show an appearance that really fits the character she plays. Thinking about how she looks while acting is the most distracting thing for her. She also purposely didn't put on lotion when starring in Miss Bag. Because she has thin skin, wrinkles form easily if she doesn't put on lotion. Some may see this and describe Hun Jin-min as looking ugly, but she stated, being ugly and acting are different. She's the type of person to cry if someone else cries. She once revealed in an interview that she cries at the end of a job, depending on what the project is. When she did a drama, she, her co-stars, and the crew would share their joys and sorrows with each other. She told Allure, because of the filming schedule, I'd go home briefly, just to wash up before going out again. 
We were basically living together for months, so I would cry when we had to go our separate ways. She's also the type of person to cry if someone else cries. Nam Ju Yuk had cried during the Jose press conference when a video for the film was shown. Although he soon compassed himself, Han Ji Min also began to cry, and the press conference paused as the two actors wiped their tears. She gets scared at night. The actress looked back at the time she filmed the 2007 movie The Cut on V Live show Actor and Chatter. She commented, I used to like the movie a lot in the past, but now I don't like to watch it. As for her reason why, she stated that she often had dreams, and those images stay in her memory. She continued, when I was filming back then, I wasn't scared. That's probably because I was young. But now, I get scared at night. She has often fallen in unrequited love. In 2021, she starred in the rom-com film A Year End Medley, where she played the leading role of So Jin, who secretly hid her feelings for her longtime friend of 15 years as he prepared to get married. When asked if she had ever been through a similar experience, the actress revealed to E Daily, starting from back when I was in elementary school, I've been in unrequited love a lot. Even if I liked someone, I was afraid of being rejected, so I'd just watch them from afar. Nowadays, I'm starting to think that, if I find someone I like, I should express my feelings before it's too late. She wants to get married because of fate that comes naturally. In an interview, Han Ji Min talked about her thoughts on marriage. She knows that marriage isn't something that's done just through love, but she has come to realize that love is what is most important. She remarked, as I get older, marriage is a topic of question that I naturally begin to hear about. However, I don't think it's something to do because it's getting late and I feel rushed. That's because fate is something that comes naturally.